Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka. hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to convert an environment to Wadudo. That way you can be able to have immersive environments for your Wadudo setup. Now before we get started, you're going to be needing the Wadudo SDK Unity project file already set up. So if you don't know how to do that, please go to the description below and check out that tutorial as it shows you how to set up the Wadudo SDK. And once you already have that set up, we can follow along with this tutorial or if you already know how to do it then of course let's continue now we're going to be needing an environment for this now where can you get an environment you may be wondering so you can either a you can model your environment completely from scratch with Blender, or B, you can actually kit bash your environment with Blender by getting some kit bashing packs that you can either download for free or pay for Blender and you can assemble them into your own environment. You can also even do kit bashing as well with Unity by downloading Unity assets. You know, in the Unity Asset Store, you can download some assets either for free or paid, and you can even do some kit bashing within Unity for your environment. It is actually quite a common practice, actually. And another thing, of course, see, you can actually use a program called Sweet Home 3D or an equivalent program. There's a couple, but Sweet Home 3D is a nice program if you want something like the Void of environments. So with Void, you can create your characters, but if you want something kind of like Void, but it's an environment with a little mixture of PMX editor in it, Sweet Home 3D is probably a great choice. So you can be able to easily create some environments with some pre-made stuff because the program, it comes with furniture, you can down some furniture, you can, you know, prepare your room how big or small you want it and all that. So check out that program. I even made an old tutorial on Sweet Home 3D in the past. I'll leave all the, you know, I'll leave that link in the description if you're curious about that program. Otherwise though, pretty much, you know, wherever you get your environment from, you're going to need to make sure that it is in Unity for this. So before we do import our environment we need to make sure to set up a mod real quickly so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the water do tab and click on new mod make sure to name this environment or you can name this whatever you want like my bedroom or room and such i'm going to just name it environment just for the sake of the tutorial i'll leave this set to default and click on create mod once i have that remember that in with how water do sdk works what this folder mostly cares about is the environment scene file and the settings for the most part of course you know just in case it's still nice to have your fbx files and materials all take you know all in here especially for organizing purposes but what the sdk will mostly care about is that if the scene file and its settings are in this folder that's how it's going to export and that it's in the right name so keep that in mind but otherwise though I'm gonna go ahead and import my uni package. I made this uh, I made this back in 2021. This is quite old, but I'm gonna use this just for demonstration purposes. So do excuse if the environment looks kind of low quality because it's old. But either way, you're gonna go ahead and import your FBX files and your textures and all that over here, whether it's Unity Asset Store, whether it's Sweet Home 3D or other stuff like that, you know, wherever that environment is coming from make sure that you have your stuff imported here now pretty much this is where we can all begin with the kit bashing so I'm gonna kind of quickly kit bash my environment together because that's how I made it back like these are I made this environment myself but I have to assemble it because this was for tracking world originally that's an irrelevant note but pretty much for a lot of environments you'll probably have to assemble the objects you know together like kind of kit bash place them together there may be some environments that are already pre-made like they already have the furniture and stuff so you know i'd say like it depends on how your environment you'll have to probably do some external research and depending on your environment goals but right for what i'm gonna do i'm gonna right click on the hierarchy click on create empty and I'm gonna name this environment do keep in mind the prefab does not matter when exporting it's the entire scene in the hierarchy that matters so we're gonna go ahead set the position to zero to zero I'm just having this to organize my stuff better so environment then I'm gonna go ahead through each one of my files here and I'm gonna just go ahead and pretty much just put my stuff together so it can take some time of course depending on how many objects that you do have as you can see 
but you just pretty much just click it or if by any chance if you download like a unity asset environment you may actually already have the environment preset like there's probably like a a pre like a scene file that comes with it or a prefab that you can just click and drag over and it'll load everything for you so again it really just depends i recommend like if you got your environment from somewhere else contact the creator if you need help or you know again like experiment and all that stuff now for this environment i've made i actually originally made the sky dome as a sphere so one option for the sky dome is that you can have like a simple sphere and you can texture it so that way again it's, it's an old environment so the sky dome looks really derpish but you can of course use a sky dome like a simple sphere as your sky dome if you want but what you can do instead, which is nice that Wadudo allows us to do this, is that you can actually set up your Sky Dome with the render settings. So now that we have our FBX stuff over here, and actually before I get into the rendering here, I also want to mention as well that yes, you can have custom shaders such as Lil Toon, Poyomi, Real Toon, or even your own custom scripted shader, like your own custom shader. You can be able to use it in Waterdo quite easily as long as it works with the built-in render pipeline. Now, if you're someone that wants to use Universal Rendering Pipeline, which is URP, you'll have to get Waterdo Pro, which you can contact Tiger. I'll leave the information in the description if you are wanting to use URP. So contact Tiger regarding inquiries about Waterdo Pro and other assistance with that. But Otherwise, though, pretty much you can add custom shaders. You can even have particle effects that you can add to your environment. So I can add like an effect. It'll have a particle here, you know, and again, as long as this is, is within the scene file, you can do whatever you want. So let's say I have this particle here and I want this to be over here. Let's say we can have a particle there. We can also have like custom light. So I have this directional light here. You can adjust it. You can even have some extra point lights if you so desire. If you want, you know, you can go crazy with your environment. But of course, you know, depending on what you're going to be doing with your environment, there may be some advanced users that may want to do some baking with their light, you know, with the light map. So I will say when you go to Windows, Rendering, and Lighting over here, you can actually be able to do some baking and have your settings over here. So this is like one method of baking the lights. But of course, if you're using a plugin or an add-on like Bakery, I don't have access to that add-on sadly, but you could definitely check it out if you so prefer. The Wadado documentation should have explanation regarding Bakery and stuff. But I can go ahead and click on New Lighting Settings, and there you go. I have my settings here, which I'm actually should put this in my environment folder here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There you go. So my environment settings, you know, my settings here. I'm going to name this Lighting settings as so you can do that so i'm just gonna name it like so exactly like this leave it in the environment which this is the mod folder i made and of course i heavily recommend especially what's what the documentation stated make sure directional mode is set to directional so that way it works properly and then you can generate your lighting like so just like that so you know there's that but you can also use bakery you know depending you'll have to probably you know if you need some further assistance with baking i recommend contacting tiger or reading the Wadado documentation as there's more information regarding it but feel free to talk to tiger in the Wadado discord server but either way the other thing we'll have to do let's say you don't want to use a sphere like a sphere mesh for your sky dome and instead you want this you know this actual sky to be overrided what we're going to do is we're going to add a component and we're going to type in environment settings so we're going to make sure this is added so i'm going to add this to my empty prefab that i made or the empty game object i made here so make sure it's all there i'll also have this particle saying just connect it here because why not but here I'm going to click on copy from current environment settings here and you can even change, you know, after you copy, you can adjust the settings however you like. So for the default sky box, I'm actually going to change that to the sunset sky material that I have here. So sky dome, put that there. The material I have is a sky box and it's a panoramic. So that's what I'm using. You can create one by right clicking, clicking on create material 
and then you can set to skybox panoramic and then set up your settings however you like so you can do that but pretty much adjust however you want and then you can click on the apply button and it should be able to add your sky dome according here so as you can see it's working fine and you can see that the shadow colors change because it is you know a sunset so pretty much that's what you can do for custom skies so i also want to mention as well you can add post processing to your environment and here's how you can actually do that so the water do sdk already has the post processing installed so all you need to do is go to your environment then add a component and find post process volume make sure to click on is global then make sure to add a new profile and you can add the effects that you want depending on if you want bloom or anything like that and adjust the settings according to what you want and in order to actually preview the thing you can actually utilize the camera here to do some previewing and such so i'm going to go ahead add a component to that camera set to post process layer and then make sure that the layer is set to everything so that way you can actually preview and adjust your settings however you want so that way you can ensure that your environment looks very extra pretty but once you have that all taken care of what you're going to then do is you're going to then Go to file save as and then you're going to go to the environment folder you made from the mod which is the environment folder here i'm going to name this environment and it has to be spelled this way it has to be and it needs because in order for the water to sdk to know this is an environment not only does it have to be a scene file but it has to be spelled this exact way so keep that in mind so make sure that you save it and then i'm going to go into the environment folder and as you can see i have my settings here and I have my, I have pretty much my, all my stuff here. So all of it is, should be all there. And once you have your scene file and everything and you're all good to go, you can of course, you know, if you make changes, make sure to save regularly. But otherwise though, once you're pretty much done setting up your stuff, you can then go into Waterdo mod settings and you can change your settings, especially if you're going to share it to the Steam Workshop. You can change who made it. You can add the description such as like set court like set coordinates to such and such if there's going to be something like displacement that may happen with the environment and all that the mod asset directory should be taken care of if you use the new mod but otherwise though for the mod export directory which actually by default would be you know blank you'll go ahead and click here and then you'll have to go to the streaming assets folder and make sure to be on the environment folder here now if by any chance you you know if you're struggling to find this file path which you can pause the video and look for this file path here but the quick way to actually access this really fast is by making sure that wadudo is open which i already have the environment set up so excuse me let me remove that but what you're going to do is on the Wadudo editor you're going to click on the paw and you're going to click on open data folder and you can actually be able to go to the environments folder here and double click on the top bar here and copy and paste it to unity but what i heavily recommend is that make sure that you know you go to the Wadudo data folder here right click on streaming assets and make sure you pin to quick access so that way you have especially if you're going to do a lot of conversions i heavily recommend doing that so that way you can have access to adding some stuff and all that quite regularly. It's very quick, very, you know, convenient. So I heavily recommend doing that. But otherwise though, once you have that all taken care of and stuff, go to Wadudo. You can finally build a mod and give it some time for it to convert. Some environments may take longer, but some environments, it should be pretty quick. It should not take no more than, let's say, five minutes. It should take no more than that. Because otherwise, if it starts taking like 10 minutes or more, it may, that's kind of like a concern, depending on the environment. I heavily recommend not to make that environment too high poly or anything like that. Keep it as optimized as possible. Otherwise, you might crash. But either way, pretty much in the Wadudo editor, you're going to click on the add asset. You're going to then add an environment right here. And then you can add the source to the environment that you made. And pretty much, as you can see, the sky dome is actually not only here it's already registered but also you even have the particle over there in that corner and 
this environment uses mtomb but it could be poyomi and stuff but that's literally how you can do it and of course if you are doing like ragdoll relay stuff you gotta make sure that there are some collider stuff i actually recommend using colliders with props so you can make like a collider prop if anything to have some more flexibility you can even actually download the collider floor from the discovery but otherwise though for the most part you should be pretty good in terms of the environment pretty much you can do what you want with it you know the sky's the limit and if you ever need any further help with your environment then feel free to contact tiger regarding some assistance you know, if you need help on baking or if something went wrong or if you're using some scripts or something that may have some issue with the SDK, feel free to contact Tiger for further assistance. And also do let me know if, I, if by any chance I ever said some incorrect information throughout this tutorial. Either way, haha. <laughs> Anywho, though, I just hope that this tutorial helps you out with the whole environment stuff. And yeah, I hope you, you know, hope you have fun with VTubing. Have a lovely day, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.